It wasn't until I bought a, a Euro machine that I started using this type of guard. And, uh, you know, straight off the bat, I liked it. Um, it is interesting, I find that, uh, and maybe it's a cost saving sort of thing, but Felder used to have their comfort guard used to have two joins in it. So it certainly was was easier to to get the the guard out of the way on this side uh, at the at the right length or whatever. Um, now, like for example, you know, uh, here I haven't really got all the the blade guarded, obviously. So you know, it doesn't really sort of work. I think as well as what it it used to. So you know, for me to cover this guard, uh, cover this blade with the guard properly. Um, yeah, I am going to have a little bit sticking out here. So that's one of the compromises, right? Like everything, there's always going to be some sort of compromises. Nothing ever seems to be perfect. So uh, the way I typically do it is I set the guard as low to the, to the material that I'm running as possible. Um, and then I I have a gap, leave a gap here so that when I go to do my jointing, um, you know, I can actually uh, have, have the piece there and run it through. So. So there we are, um, ready for the jointer, uh, ready for the planer, for the thickness planer. Um, and you might may have noticed too, like while the guard does stick out, you know, I'm typically sort of stopping here anyway. So eh, it's not really that big a deal when it's sticking out. But what I really wanted to show you and this I think is one of the huge benefits to to this type of guard and that is when I'm doing something really thin say I need to do some glazing bars or something like that um, you know in that situation you're typically working with some really thin uh, really small sort of stock and uh, and doing it with a guard that swings away uh, you know it's not the safest practice this and this is this brings me back to the other reason why I was sort of hesitant about doing this video uh, this isn't uh, something that I would recommend to anyone, certainly anyone that's uh, you know not that familiar around a, a planer, thicknesser, or a jointer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the fact that you can set this up with the blade pretty much completely covered um, makes a, a huge difference, and it really does make it sort of quite safe to, to do this. So I've now got this guard set right down on the material. It's actually when I push the, the piece in, it is actually sort of pushing the guard up slightly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then on this way, and in fact, if I put that down a little bit more, that's perfect. Um, so I might actually have to lift it up, but that's now just got pressure down on the material. So it's going to help hold that material down flat. So I'm actually going to take about half a mil off because obviously I'm with such a thin piece I don't want to be taking too much and risk you know uh, with a bit of funky grain or something busting it in half and having pieces shooting out somewhere so anyway I want I might actually do this without putting the uh, dust extractor on just so that I can actually talk you through it so
So now, so I've ended up with a nice flat piece. There's even some, you know, really difficult sort of grain in here and it's, it's really quite, quite simple. Um, but uh, so now with the fence where it is right here, um, there's a little rounded sort of section to it. And you can actually see when I push the, the material through, it sort of pushes the guard away. So what actually happens here is it helps because it is such a small piece, it actually helps hold the material against the fence and keep it at 90 degrees to the fence. So we'll run that. So there you go, a really nice uh, 90 degree prep for the uh, reed for the, um, the thickness planer. We can even do it on, this is a little bit uh, funky, but again, let's just do it on this one. So there you go, like, um, yes, my hand was running over the cutter, but, but on the wood, you know, for the most part, it's basically all covered by the guard. It's, it's, it really is a, a, uh, a pretty slick system. And uh, especially if you can get a guard that, that folds down um, so that it is out of the way if you find that an issue then realistically I, I find this guard you know uh, really easy to use and and a, a safe way of of, uh, of jointing boards flattening and, and uh, jointing boards um, and in my opinion I I would rather stick with this than go back to a swing away guard any day. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to you and, and, uh, and I guess show you why I think uh, um, this guard really does have its uh, merits in the, in the shop. So, all right, don't forget to hit uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video.